We met in the workplace and ended up uh, having three boys, all with Fragile X syndrome. We live now in Northern Kentucky. The educators are really, really awesome and really, really focused on helping the special needs community. We're just a, a group of five in Taylor Mill, Kentucky. Our boys are Brock, who just turned 13, Drew, who is 11, and Tyrus, who's nine, but he's going to be 10. They all have Fragile X syndrome. They were diagnosed in 2012. When we first heard our Fragile X diagnosis, my emotions, I, I remember three big ones. Um, the first was relief, actually. The second was fear. And the third was guilt. Uh, all I knew is my three boys were just still my three boys. They were the same as they were before I got the news. And before I got the news, I didn't think anything different of them. We have always been involved with research at Cincinnati Children's. If Dr. Craig Erickson tells us you fit with this study and basically it's safe for your boys, we give it a shot. Then you start hearing the word Fraxa, you know, years ago, and then you start reading, you know, this grant is from Fraxa. When we heard that Niagara Falls was being lit up for the first time a couple years ago and that Fraxa was doing it, it was just kind of like we decided, I don't know, three or four days ahead of time, we're just going to go to Niagara Falls and see it lit up and meet everybody. And that's when I got to briefly meet Katie Clapp. I'm just a big fan. And knowing that we have people like that that are working for our boys without even ever met them calls us to do want to do better around here. You know, the things that Fraxa is doing to help that type of research is, is just just amazing. I thank everybody involved at, at Fraxa with what you do and uh, we really appreciate everybody there and everybody's efforts. It's a huge effort. It's a lot bigger than I ever understood, um, but it's, it's awesome and we just want to say thanks.